so sick. Thank you. The world's a feast of pleasures. Ready for anyone who dares help themselves first. Okay. Hey, Yuris, how you doing? Very good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, I got to see the Radleys this morning, as a matter of fact, and really enjoyed it. I, I mean, I've seen my share of vampire films, but I feel like this was inspired by whole, like, I felt like the vibe of a bunch of other flicks involving either vampires or dark comedies, but this was really good. So good, good job on it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really glad that you enjoyed it. So my first question is, uh, what inspired you to take on the, this movie? Where, where did the inspiration come from? Um, I've, I've always loved vampire films from when I was a little kid, being scared, being scared of these creatures that could taint you by biting you and turn you into something else. But um, when I read this script, it felt like it was doing something new with the genre that we'd never seen before. Setting it in, in suburbia, uh, in, in the most ordinary family, um, and, and, and asking the question, how would you, if you're, an, you know, as a real person, how, how would you cope with having this dark desire baked into your being, what would you do? Um, and our heroes, they, they, they respond by abstaining. They've chosen to abstain from drinking blood uh, in order to stay on the straight and narrow. But of course, that's impossible to keep going because um, they've chosen not to tell the kids, which is always a big mistake. And, and something happens, something horrific happens, and it blows yeah. the secret out of, out of the water, and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah, what I really liked was the fact that it starts as a normal film and then like about 15 minutes into it, that's when, you know, you think one thing's going to happen. Like when when um, Clara gets attacked by the guy and you think the guy is the attacker because I like that little, I like what you did there with the, um, in the beginning showing the wolf and the rabbit and then him calling her a rabbit as he's chasing. I, you thought you would think that he's going to be the one who's the vampire, but he, then bam we, we now we get the real twist and that's where that's where everything starts and that's that really blew me away the way it was done and i love the fact that damian lewis got to play not one but two roles here as the twin brothers you know one who's trying to stand the straight and narrow and the other one who's just two out there and i like that what was it like working with damian on this as uh yeah we, we really wanted to tell the story of you know, what, it, what, what, what's it like if there's one, essentially uh, two brothers with exactly the same DNA, they've both got exactly the same flaw in baked into their being, um, but they both make these really different moral choice in their life. So Peter, the good brother decides to abstain, Will, the bad brother decides to yield to his authentic self and drinks blood like there's no tomorrow. And, and Damien's the kind of actor who you know, he, he can play nice, he's funny, you know, he's so funny, he's got such a great sense of comedy, and he can play that good-hearted character, Peter, really brilliantly. And, but then we've seen him in, in Billions, we've seen him in uh, Wolf Hall playing these dastardly, malevolent characters who can really get up to no good, um, and he plays Will. And, and what, what, what's wonderful about his performance, I think, is that he, um, you know, he makes you understand what those moral choices are, and neither of them are without cost. You know, being good and abstaining comes at a cost, but being bad and having fun comes at a cost. And, and, and what I think he does is he makes the audience, when, when they watch the movie, ask the question, well, what would I have done in that situation? And which of those would I prefer to be? And, and there's no easy answer, right? Because, um, because it's nuanced and it's complicated. Yeah, and I also liked Kelly's character as, you know, she's also trying to go on the straight and narrow, but then once Will comes into the picture, that temptation slowly starts to get to her. And then you have Harry, who has his own, you know, his own thing with having the crush on the sister's best friend. And then Bo, you know, she was like, like I said, Bo's the catalyst. You know, she's the one who's revealed she's a vampire. She's the vampire. And at first, like she struggles, she struggles, but then she's like, she enjoys it. You know, she and she brings the typical teenage angst into into her role. You know, because she's like, you know, you lied to me, you, you know, you did this, so you know, I'm gonna do what I want. I had that whole, you know. So, what's it like with those three working with them? Because they they just pulled off such brilliant performances as well. Yeah, I mean, Kelly McDonald, we've seen in movies like Train Spotting or No Country for Old Men, and she she takes your breath away because she makes you feel so deeply for her character. But in in this film, 
you know, what she what she does is you know she does all of that she really makes you feel for helen and helen's predicament but she's so funny um who knew that kelly's kind of comic comic timing was so sharp and and she can turn on a sixpence and 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 there are things that she says that take your breath away um because they're so poignant and painful and at the same time they're ridiculous and comic and you're kind of not sure whether you're supposed to laugh or you're supposed to kind of be shocked by the moment um uh so it's it's yeah it's, I, I think she has real fun in it and she took the part because she's always always wanted to be in a vampire it's uh, it's a genre she she loves and and it's a dream she always had to be to play a vampire um and then the kids well you know Bo is uh, but but both Bo and Harry are are relatively newcomers relative newcomers um but I think they both shine in their in their roles and 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 Ro Rowan's journey through Harry played his journey through the story is is that he he falls in love for the first time he's a teenager falling in love for the first time which is painful enough but at the same time he has to cope with the truth that he's a vampire and and he wants more than anything to kind of consume and kill the person that he's also in love with so what would you do in that situation it's like a you know, yeah in a rock place I think that moral conflict is, is is really exciting to watch exactly so how long did shooting take and did you face any issues during production at all like the, you know, being technical or whatnot um it's an indie mill it's an indie movie so we shot it in six weeks which is which is fat um and you know it's a, it's a lot a lot of complicated stuff to shoot not not least that damien's playing two characters so we shoot a scene with him get his you know get peter's shots out of the way then then he disappeared for like two hours into back into the costume and makeup to get his hair changed and clothes changed and then he'd come back and we shoot the other half of the scene so so that stuff is is tricky um but the way we got around it was we had a an acting double who would always play the other twin so damien had this great fantastic actor to play again um to kind of give the scene a bit of bite and a bit of dramatic tension even though the other guy you never see him he we're, I'm, I'm just really grateful to him and he, he did a great job that's great well i hope everyone checks out the radleys on october 4th i feel like this is a, a mix of in a way what we do in the shadows as well as a korean film called the quiet family it has it brings them all together with a dose of i want to say fright night the, the nightclub scenes that's what reminded me of fright night like that that one scene there so i feel like it was nicely put together and euros did a great job and i hope people get to check out the film Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. It's good to talk to you.